Hi friends! I have a fun video for you today. I'm going to be doing finally a giveaway and I'm so excited about it. So I'm going to show you around while I talk a little bit and then let's get started. Okay friends, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Marlene and I am Uniquely Ella everywhere on Instagram, everywhere. I'm going to kind of have you look at Ella for a little bit while I tell you a little bit about the giveaway that I'm so excited about guys it took me a really long time by the way everything that I'm showing you on Ella it's all junky nothing here is expensive um, it took me like a really long 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 time because I was looking for the right thing for the giveaway the right had to have like the right measurements but first let me give you a little background on what got me the idea for the giveaway. I wanted to do something a little different and how I came up with the idea for that. Okay, so I'm showing you around my room a little bit because that kind of inspired my giveaway um, idea. Okay, so let me show you around some of my favorite things, the, the main things that, that inspire the giveaway. So let me just show you a little bit. Okay, friends. So if you have seen any of my room tours before in my new crafting area, which I'm going to link underneath so that you can look at it, I use a lot and I used in the past when I had a small, very small little craft room out of my half of my laundry room, I used a lot of these little shelving units, I call them, and later on I was introduced to printer's trays, but these little things are not too wide so they're perfect for little spaces and they're perfect on areas that you need to walk by that you don't want to uh, bump into things because they're just very I mean this is what six inches maybe but the printer trays are even smaller so it's perfect so I was introduced to these when I was craft since I started crafting as a solution for displaying my things and also um, room room you know having not having enough room then once I discover all these little shelving units like this I'm calling them and spice racks I'll show you some later on I found my sister actually introduced me to printer's trays she found them a lot here in the south like in thrift shops and stuff like that and she got me a couple of them and I'm like oh my god where have these things have been all my life so the printer's tray that I use in my wall space they are so perfect guys to hold stamps in my case let me just show you another one see this is what i was looking for and that's why my giveaway took me such a long time this is a true printer tray, and the reason it took me a long time because i was looking for something like this but not as tall because of shipping purpose it will make my life a lot easier if it was like a little shorter but i wanted some of the cubicles to be like smaller and some bigger and the ones that i found were all like real big ones and it was a real tall they were tall and it just i was just looking for just the right one for my giveaway so i already gave you a hint that my giveaway is a printer's tray and I've already given you little hints because they've been on my, I've showed it on my Instagram and my Facebook a little bit. So here's an example of one. Of course, they are trays. They are, you know, you can have them flat, but I put little hooks on mine, and I that's how I hung them. Let me show you some other ones really quick. Okay, hang on. See this one? I really like. This is like a little shelving unit. Um, this is not really a printer's tray, but I think my sister found this one for me. So I was looking for the printer's tray like this, kind of, but not as thick, real thin, like a real, because it would have been, it's not as heavy. And I wanted it with like big slots and little slots. I mean, not as big as that, but that's what I was looking for. Here's another one, and I was not looking for one like this, because this one, all the shell, all the little spots are the same size. So I wasn't looking for that. See, I wasn't looking for that. Let me show you some, another uh, little area hang on friends. then I thought of uh, uh, maybe I'll use a spice rack like this one this is just a plain spice rack um, but then I was like no I really I really want a printer's tray so just let me keep on looking and I did I found the one that I was looking for for me and I'm going to show you the project that I did with it 
And that's kind of how I intended the giveaway to be. But you don't have to do it like that. You can put little brackets like I did and just hang it on the wall if that's what you want. But let me show you what I was looking for for me. And then that led to my giveaway. I'll be right back. Okay, friends. As you all know, I have been very blessed. I did a video on it. I'm going to also link it underneath. That I found this gorgeous crafting table. And it's like super duper thick. And I'm like in love with it. And I crafted out of a folding, those party, 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 folding tables that had a really pretty burlap tablecloth. And I did that for about four years in this big room. I needed something big. I had the space for it and I wanted something big. And that did the job for a long time. But in my mind, I wanted a real proper table that was kind of like wobbly and the burlap was just yucky, getting yucky because I, I put like a cover for it and the cover was all worn and whatever but I wanted to so I started saving and saving and saving for my table but you know it wasn't like my priority I kept buying craft supplies so but it took me about a year to save a couple hundred dollars because I knew that a big table like the one I wanted was going to be a lot of money and I couldn't you know but God wanted to bless me and my sister found this awesome table for almost nothing I almost died when she told me at uh, a garage sale and I was like what grab it so I don't think I saw this on Pinterest I don't think I did I I, I I I don't know where I saw it but it's not my idea I don't know if it's a blog I mean I'm talking about 20 years ago a long time ago and I always said if I have a proper sturdy proper crafting table I want to do this because I thought it was genius or I saw something like it and I said I'm gonna incorporate it into my table if I ever get one so I got my table and I've always had that idea in the back of my mind and I said I'm gonna go for it and then I said you know what I'm gonna give one away and this is what I did to my table that I love it I found let me move my chair around I wanted to put a a it's not done yet I mean it was just awesome actually my wonderful because my husband and I couldn't figure out how to do that these little pieces of wood weren't here. We didn't know how to put the, um, cause there's like, um, what do you call this? I don't know what you call this. See? Railings. Railings for that. We didn't know how to do this. My husband and I couldn't find any YouTube videos. We didn't know how to do it. So my handy dandy brother-in-law, who's an awesome car carpenter, installed it for us and it was challenging but he did it so he just did that not too long ago and I still haven't painted the little side woods to build a little frame for the railings so I need to do that but I this is how I'm going to use my printer's tray as a little drawer for my desk isn't that nice guys and it's not expensive at all and I wanted the giveaway to be something actually I was looking for something just like this but if I couldn't I wanted something maybe a little bit smaller again for shipping purposes and some of the and but this type of slot idea so that took forever to find once I found it I had to sand it prime it and paint it that took a couple of weeks I didn't do it all at once but it's all done and I'm going to show it to you in one minute but that's the idea of my giveaway I haven't filled mine yet but my, the one that I'm giving away is like a pretend one of these that I already filled out for you, but you can add your little goodies. And I'm probably going to add more things before I give it away. And I have to show you because I think I'm even giving you handles for it in case I don't have a handle like this, but I have a cute little knob. I'm going to give you that and in case you would want to do that. But wouldn't that be nice under your desk for you ladies that have like a real proper desk already? Wouldn't that be nice? But the one that I'm giving, again, you don't have to use it like this. You can use it, you know, like however you want. But what I intend to put in mine is like all of us, you know how we have all these things on our desks full of goodies. I want to pick, I want to pick like an area on mine. Maybe I will pick, I think I'm going to pick like maybe a quarter of it or either the back or the front. I think I'm going to do like a quarter of it. And on that area, I'm going to try to pick all these odd little things you know that we how we don't want to get rid of like look at this like we don't want to get rid of like 
you know, you just don't want to get rid of stuff. You just, because you know you're going to use it. But instead of it being like, like all, like in a little basket like this, which looks kind of cute too. I thought I'm starting to like, you know, maybe, I don't know. Starting to put like all my favorite little things, like in little areas, like all my little mushrooms, you know, like vintage bottle cap. And just kind of starting to fill it up. That's what I'm going to do with mine. But I haven't done mine yet because I really wanted to do the giveaway first before I did mine. And then I'm also going to save the other half of the drawer to put a lot of my little laces and things that I, if sometimes you just want like a little snippet. And, and I'm going to try to do that, fold it up and put it by color, like all the pinks and all the whites and little slots. So... Okay, guys, I have talked long enough about my mental plan for my drawer, but let me show you my giveaway for your drawer. Be right back. Okay, friends, all this explanation to show you my giveaway, and I'm so excited about it because I would love to get a squirrel tray like this. I'm calling it a squirrel tray. I would love, because I'm thinking of all the little things, if there was ever a crafting squirrel, she would gather and collect for her goodies. I posted that on a Facebook group and somebody got a kick out of it. I thought it was funny. But anyway, I'm so excited. I found the perfect printer tray that I was looking for with the smaller little spaces and then the larger spaces, which is perfect. And a bonus on this... Uh, um, printer tray is that all the edges all the way around the box they are all scalloped so it has a really nice pretty profile if you decide to put it on the wall and by the way it has little hooks in the back already there so if you want to put it in the wall like I showed you some of mine are you could but and if you want to use it as a tray I am going to be adding for your knob I'm going to be adding this I I think I might have found this little backing thing on it. I think it might be Hobby Lobby. Just be careful that you don't tighten it too much because it's ceramic and you might, you know, it might break. And then just a plain little um, clear knob that'll go with just about any room. You can use this as a pool. I think it's a little too narrow to use like one of those big pools, but that's just my opinion. All you will need to do to get is the rails and the rails, a lot of it depends on your desk that you're going to be putting it underneath it so whoever wins this if you do put it on your desk tag me on instagram and i would love to share it so um so you get that and then i'm not sure i would like to i would love to be able to i'm going to think if, if i could because i'm like a great packer when i move i'm like the best packer ever so i want to I don't know, I want you to get the whole wow aspect when you open it up. So I'm thinking I'm going to wrap it really tight in like um, cling wrap, uh, you know, movie, moving movers cling wrap, which I have a big roll of it, just real tight. Things might still move around a little bit, but when you unveil it, you'll get the effect that I want you to just look at all this goodness. So what I did is that if I may believe that it was my tray and it was going underneath my desk, which I have, if you already saw, I haven't done mine yet. So what I did is that I shopped my room. I shopped my room for all kinds of little goodies that I have, you know, just like little pieces of fabric. Like this is from Boho Daydreams. And just, uh, this is from my friend Roxy. I'm going to link her store underneath. She has a really nice Etsy store. She makes journals. She's amazing. I've known her for many, many, many years when I was on YouTube before. So I'm going to link her store. This is from Boho Daydream. I'm going to link her store. And some things people have given me. And I love, this is a great way. And I love to store my ribbons in these little permanent rods and I love it these for the new girls this these are the way people used to do permanent um, when they had the cold permanents that's a whole lesson the hot permanents and the cold nobody does that anymore but anyway we have these little uh, I have them in pink all over my room so I shared one with my favorite lace and then just little oh I love this I'm sharing a little beautiful hanky. So I just tucked, I'm not gonna show everything because I like for some of it to be like a surprise. 
some of my pretty laces. This is just an earring. I love this little bird. I've had him. There's two things here that I really love. I love this little bird. He's so cute. I love all the sequins. I got him in these. Uh, when I lived in Miami, we used to have these huge oriental, we call them Asian warehouses. The people were so nice and they had all kinds of crafty things like this. And I used to shop there all the time. And I have still have lots of things left from them. Like this is from them. I'm not going to show all the laces because I want you to be surprised. This is from them and these are dipped in wax. And they're one, some of my favorite, favorite flowers ever that I have. It's all dipped in wax and they're beautiful. And I was able to part with one. I'm not going to show you everything. Um, there's a real chandelier crystal. Very heavy in there. Some of my favorite butterflies. This is also from those warehouses in Miami. And just all kinds of laces. Pretty laces. A lot of the laces are from my collection that I've had forever. Little bits and pieces. But a lot of them are from also from Nettie's, La Nettie's Laces. I'm going to link her store underneath. Um, I parted with some of her laces and I gave little pieces here and there. This is a flower. It has a little clip in the back. And I just put this little thing in there. Let me see what I got. Oh, I love this. This is one of my favorite feathers. I've used it forever. It has a little jingle at the, at the tip of it. And I love it. You can use it for whatever you want. Just pieces of jewelry that I had around. Some sequins. Oh, I love this. This I think this is Prima. And I think it's old. And I, I think they still might have it. This is one of my favorite things from... I know Prima is such beautiful flowers. But I love when they came out with these cute little bird nests. They are adorable. And they're made out of loofah. You know, my sister's growing loofah this year. That gives me an idea. They're made out of loofah. And um, they're glittered. Isn't that cute? I gave one away. Some of my hand dye. This is from my collection. It's a nice size piece. This is tea dyed. And it's the softest little pink. And then just this little jiggly bob has been around on my desk for a long time. And I said, you know what? This needs to find a new home. And somebody needs to. It's an earring. But it's got all these dangles. And I've had it forever just looking at me at my desk. And I said, you know, I'm not going to put it in my drawer. I'm going to give it away. So you can have that. Some sequins. Some of my famous ballerinas, which I love. And these are also from those warehouses. And she has... I painted her and I stickle her. And she's ready to be used. And then just all kinds of little things. Some of my favorite pieces of jewelry. Uh, I think this might be prima. I think I have two of them. I don't know if they make these anymore. There's this one and this one. And they take the glimmer mist. They take the spray. And if you want to paint them or whatever, they take that really well. So I gave you a butterfly and a little frame. Uh, what do I have back here? Oh, some little... What do we have? Laces. This. Oh, this I did a long time ago, guys. This is a real vintage bottle cap. A milk bottle cap. And I painted it. I don't know if you can read it. My my camera is wacky. Acting real wacky like it's not focusing. I painted it and I put little things in the middle. And you can use that on a journal. In the center of a flower. Wherever you like. But it's a real vintage bottle cap. I had about four left and I gave you guys one. I have these tiny little flowers. Pink. So I went with like a pink. More crystals. I went with like a pink and white theme. And I did some of my ruffles, which I'm going to mention a little something later on. Some of my ruffles ready for you. I'm going to mention a little something and a big thank you. Uh, I have some little tags that I made. This is from an Etsy store. I don't remember who, but it was very old. And I had some of these tags. Uh, some of my favorite little doilies and things for you to play with. A little flower. Oh, I'm twisting this. A little flower. This beautiful thing I'm parting with. This is from Nettie's Laces. She gave me two of them. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm keeping one and I am giving one away. This is a beautiful, gorgeous piece. And more crystals and more just little doodads. Oh, I put my favorite because I know I'm going to put this in my drawer. I love to work with crepe paper. I love crepe paper. I love it. 
and I have it in different colors. This one happens to be pink, but I have it in you know, all kinds. And one of my favorite flowers, this is also from those warehouses, and it's soft, and it's beautiful, and it's a rose, and I love it. So, I'm going to be adding a few more things that you're not going to know what they are in here somewhere. And so, yeah, this is my giveaway. I don't know how I'm going to ship this, whether it's going to be uh, UPS uh, or it's going to be, I don't know, FedEx. I'm not sure, but I'm going to find the most economical way to ship this. And that goes to my next thing. Whoever the win, I'm going to tell you everything you need to do to win this. I'm going to have three prices. I'm going to tell you the prices in a little while. But before I forget, because I'm all over the place all the time, is that whoever the winner is, I will not ask you for shipping money. So if you get a, an email or something, hey, you won, so, you know, send me whatever, don't. That's not me. This is going around a lot, especially in giveaways and in things that people have to ship out and they announce it on YouTube. These people that have nothing to do with their time are, you know, doing this stuff that's very nasty and it's not nice. But anyway, I will not ask you for shipping money at all. So just be aware of that. So let me tell you, I'm going to have three prices because I always hate to just do one price. This is the main jumbo price that I'm so excited about. I can't wait to see who the winner is. And I'm not sure how I'm going to pick the winner. If I'm going to pick it, you know, digitally or if I'm going to pick it out of a hat. I'm not sure, but I'll see. But anyway, this is the first price. The second price is going to be a digital... I'll, con I'll contact you, whoever the winner is, and then you let me know which kit out of my digital store you would like to have, and I will gift you the entire kit, the entire collection. Let's say there's like four kits in one collection, you get all four kits. So you tell me which collection it is, and I'll send you the entire, which kit you like, and I'll send you the entire collection, because how my kits work is that I'll do different kits, but they're part of a collection. So I'll send you the entire collection. So that's second price. Third price is going to be one of my uh, Ruffle Page Edgers that I did not too long ago on a video. And that leads me to, before I forget again, guys, this has been my most successful video. My how to, actually it's a craft with me. I, I did not even name it a, a, a how to video. I named it a craft with me video. I know that YouTube likes to have how to videos, but since I'm not, I don't explain myself well. I never feel comfortable calling it a how-to. I always call it a craft with me video, guys. That video has had so many views, more than any of all my other, many, more than two of my, my top videos put together. So I don't know what happened, but obviously you guys liked it. And I thank you so very much for watching it. For all the beautiful comments, the thumbs up, for everything. Thank you, thank you so much. And I got a whole bunch of subscribers because of this video on the how to, how to do this. I, you know, sometimes it just, you know, YouTube will do something like that, which is absolutely awesome. They put your, you know, they show your video more. So it's absolutely awesome. I'm going to link it underneath in case you missed the how to do this. It's so much fun. So this is going to be my third um giveaway and I'm probably going to add a little fabric bundle in there I'm not sure but this will be number three so there's three prices this a collection from my digital store and one of my ruffle page edgers with a little something maybe I don't know so those are the three prices that I'm going to be giving away and I'm really excited 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 about it so like I said I'm not sure how I'm going to pick it but I will pick it and I'll let you know and it'll probably be a couple of weeks it'll probably be I'll tell you right now let me get my calendar I should have done this before and I did not today is okay let's do uh, let's get everybody let's do I'm going to announce the winner on oh I'm going to announce the winner oh let me see it's not going to be a lot of time. I'm going to announce because my husband's birthday falls on that day. So I can't. I'm going to announce the winner on Thursday, Thursday, April 20th. I'm not sure when this video is going to go out. I'm not sure if I, I'll put it out Easter in the evening. I'm not sure about that if I'll get to put it out today. I'm filming this today. 
So I'm not sure if it's going to go out today or Monday. But anyway, you'll have over a week to spread it around. So it's going to be Thursday, April 20th. I'm going to draw the winner for the giveaway. And I'm very, very, very excited about it. Okay, so here's what you get to do. First of all, it breaks my heart to say that I can only ship to the U.S., guys. I get so many requests in my stores if I can ship to Canada and Australia, and I would love to, all over the, the Europe, but I would love to do that, but I can't, guys. I've had, I haven't had good experience shipping overseas, and as it is, it's bad enough to ship in the U.S., but at least we can track it. There's tracking, there's insurance, we can keep uh, some kind of control. But overseas, is just no man's land, and I can't do that. So I am so sorry. I love you guys. So I cannot ship overseas. So this has to be a, um, a drawing. This has to be only for um, U.S. It's only for if you are in the U.S. Later on, I might do a international giveaway only for internationals and it'll be maybe one two and three sets of my digitals i can do that but for the purpose of this giveaway is just for us only so you have to be a us only there's a few little things you have to do to enter and i will check to enter on the giveaway number one you have to be subscribed to my channel to the youtube channel number two you have to be subscribed to my Instagram because, guys, I sh my Instagram is my go-to every day. It's so much it's easier to post there, and I'm there all the time. So you have to subscribe to YouTube, my Instagram. You have to leave a comment underneath the video. Just any comment. doesn't have to be whatever you like. Any comment underneath the video. And, oh, the main one. You have to share the video. That's it. You can share the video on your YouTube. You can share it on um, wherever. Instagram. Instagram is best, but wherever. YouTube also. Facebook. Wherever you want to share it. And on your comment, let me know where you shared the video so I can go look at it. So, again. Um, sorry, my husband came in. So, you have to be, again. So, you have to be a subscriber to my YouTube channel. You have to subscribe to my uh, Instagram you have to um, share the video and you have to leave me a comment underneath anything you want to say and also where did you share the video for this okay so I will see you on the 20th for the drawing of the winner and I hope you like this giveaway thank you for your patience thank you that it took me to so long to get this done but like I said finding the box priming the box painting the box putting the good it took me forever but I'm very glad. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the lovely comments. Thanks for all the views. I really appreciate you guys. And this gives us a motivation to keep going. Thank you guys. God bless. Hope you're having a good Easter. Bye-bye.